my fellow people, I have a question for you. How do you get your shafts level? How do you do it? What's your thoughts? What's your, this is how I kind of do it. I'll go through how I kind of do it. You let me know how you do it. Now, some people measure from the door up to the shaft. I pay attention to that center coupler, how it sits, if it's got a gap in it. But you can see I'm throwing a laser on it. You see how I'm, I'm touching that on that right hand side? Just barely hitting there. I'm off. So here's my thought process, and now it's coming to me why you can't always just use a laser. <clears throat> it's because you'll start getting a gap up in this top if you make it with the laser, the shaft, right? And the reason being is because this weight of the spring makes this shaft actually belly. So do you go by the center coupler, what it tells you? Or do you guys go by the ends and you measure? I know if this is like this right now, if I leave this like this, this is not good. This will this will be like a like a drive shaft and it, it'll actually start pushing these pins out, these keyways. It'll it'll loosen them over time. It'll it'll hog around as it as it rotates. It'll go look, 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 look. So I'm gonna make it go as perfectly even symmetrically around on the center coupler, we're gonna call it, because I could tell it's not gonna land because like I said, there's weight of the spring pushing on the shaft, which makes it belly. But this center coupler is really important that it sits true. Let me know what you guys think. So I'm just curious of how you do it. Cause I don't know everything and I could use a few pointers on this. I can make it, but it takes a lot of time. Good luck out there. Remember, keep your fingers.